Welcome to Percussion Methods. Today we are changing and tuning the batter head of a floor tom. You're gonna need a new head, a tuning key, a stick, some white lithium grease, a few rags, and a permanent marker. When you're working on a floor tom, it's nice to remove the legs and place it on a soft top table like this one. It makes it easier to work on it. You should replace any head that has excessive wear, is damaged, has been defaced, or isn't holding pitch or providing you the tone that you want. This head has quite a bit of wear and it's not sounding very bright anymore, so it's time to switch it out. The first step is to remove the old head. I'm gonna begin with the tension rod closest to me and give it two full turns to loosen it. Then I'm gonna go across and give this tension rod two full turns. Avoid going in a circle because that can relieve all the tension from just one side of the head, which isn't great for the shell or the rim. So I'm gonna go to the next pair clockwise, two turns to loosen, and then the final pair, two turns to loosen. I'm going to continue loosening the tension rods in the same pattern until I can remove them by hand. Lift the rim off the drum and set it someplace where it won't get dirty. I'm gonna put it on top of two music stands. You can remove the old head and throw it away or turn it into the world's worst frisbee. Now that the old head and the rim have been removed, check the interior of the shell to make sure there's no damage, clean it if it's dirty. If you have any bolts that are loose, make sure to tighten them. This one does have a loose bolt, so I'm gonna make sure to put that back on. To keep the tension rods moving smoothly as you tighten or loosen them, you should check and see if the casings have any lubrication in them. If there isn't any, add a little bit of white lithium grease. So this one doesn't have any, so I'll leave a little grease at the top. This one is also missing some, so a little bit right at the top there. Take your new head and place it on the shell. The orientation of the stamp doesn't really matter. I usually like to put it across from one of the legs that the tom stands on. Now take the rim and set it on the head. Be careful not to let the tension rods touch the head since it might make it dirty. Now you can finger tighten the tension rods until the bottom of the tension rod is just touching the rim. Right there, it's just touching. Your fingers are probably gonna get a little greasy during this process, so it's nice to have a rag on hand. Now that all the tension rods are finger tight, I like to take two of them on opposite sides of the drum and give them a little wiggle back and forth to make sure that the rim is aligned above all the tension rods. Throughout the tuning and clearing process, you wanna keep the head as centered as possible. If your shell isn't perfectly round, it might have a little bit of play side to side. One way you can help keep it centered is give it a little bit of gentle pressure right in the middle of the head so everything gets pulled inward. It's time to start adding some tension. Take your tuning key and go to the tension rod closest to you and give it two full 180 degree turns. Then go across it to its partner, two full turns. Go clockwise to the next pair, two full turns. You might find that the tension rods around the first one you pull down are a little bit looser, so you can give it a little bit extra if needed. Then the final pair. I'm going to continue adding tension with just one full turn in the same pattern until the head starts to have some pitch. As you're tuning, you might hear some creaks or cracks from the new head as you bring the tension up. This is normal, don't worry about it. Now that the head has some pitch, I'm gonna start clearing it. And clearing is making sure that the head is in tune with itself by locating tension rods that are too low. I'm gonna take my stick and starting with the tension rod closest to me, give it a few taps by the edge. I'm gonna notice the pitch. Okay, so this second one is actually higher than the first. This first one needs to come up. Still a little low. A little low. If you have a tension rod that's persistently low, Check its partner across the drum.
If during the clearing process you bring the pitch of the head higher than you'd like, you can loosen them a half turn in the same pattern you tightened them in. Make sure you do another round of clearing after you loosen a head. Now that I've done a few rounds of clearing, I'm gonna compare the pitch of the batter head to the pitch of the resonant head. To do that, I'm gonna put the drum on its side, mute the resonant head while I tap on the batter head with my other hand. I'm gonna notice the most prevalent pitch and compare it to the resonant head. I'm noticing that the resonant head is about a minor third higher than the batter head. This is nice because it'll give us a nice articulate tone. The last step of the head changing process is to write the month and year. Currently it's June 2023, so we'll take a permanent marker and above the stamp I'll write 6, 23. It's fairly common for some heads to sound a bit stuffy when you first put them on. They'll get more sensitive and open as you play on them. After a few days, check the head and clear it if needed to bring it back up to the target pitch. Here's what this new head is sounding like. I'll continue to work on this over the coming days to get the tone dialed in. Our new head is tuned and sounding pretty good. It's time to put the drum with the rest of the kit and get practicing. Mm -hmm. 